Hey shooters, welcome back to the Shooters Resource Channel. Today we're looking at the Glock 19X. Glock first started manufacturing pistols back in the early 1980s and they hit the US market in 1985. The Glock 19X was released in January of 2018 for an MSRP of $749. Glock 19X, pretty sweet shooter. However, I received this gun, or purchased it, for $400 used. So, you can find some pretty good deals on Glocks out there. Uh, most Glocks, when I buy them, especially like the just the standard Glocks, I'm normally looking for that $350 to $400, maybe $450 price range, depending on the options that are on the Glock. I was shooting a little Mossberg MC1 today, a little compact 7-rounder. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's a huge difference going to this full-size pistol. Really like this. Really fill in the 19X. Glock calls this their first crossover pistol because it combines the 17-round grip that's on the Glock 17 with the 4-inch slide that's on the Glock 19, much like their popular Glock 45 pistol. However, this one came out first. This is Glock's first ever factory coated slide, and it's got that kind of bronze peanut butter brown look to it. I really like it. I think it's a good looking gun overall, and I'm kind of upset that it took me so long to get one into my collection. However, I did have the XR9 from Shadow Systems, so it was pretty much the Shadow System version of this gun, and I liked it quite a bit too. Now the Glock 19X is coming in at 24.83 ounces. So a pretty good weight for an overall pistol, and that's with an unloaded magazine. It comes with one 17 round and two 19 round magazines. That's a pretty cool offering. I wish a lot of other Glock pistols came with two plus two capacity base plates, kind of like the Glock 19X does. Getting wet out here, but having fun. The Glock 43X performing out in the, out in the rain with dirty ammunition. Dirty reloads, dropped on the ground, mags dropped on the ground, this thing just keeps ticking. Easy to shoot fast, really liking it. Another cool thing is, uh, just kind of keeping with the theme of the FDE, or what Glock calls the Coyote color, it does come with a Coyote Glock box. And another awesome perk on this one is it comes with factory night sights from Glock, which again, I wish all Glock pistols came this way. When it comes to ergonomics, this gun has all of the traditional Glock ergos that you're used to. Like all Gen 5s, it's got no finger grooves. The texturing's okay. The ambidextrous slide stop is great. I really think it's an improvement over the Gen 4s or Gen 3s or previous generations. Controls are very easy. Got ambidextrous slide release, which is nice. Mag release is really a uh, good size, fairly flush, easy to get to. A lot of folks say that Glocks are just so simple and uh, there's more advanced guns out there, but I'm gonna tell you, sometimes getting back to the basics is really important. What's unique about the Glock 19X is it does come with a lanyard loop. And now this is something that you can get for other Glocks, but it comes stock with that. A lot of different, you know, military groups, law enforcement groups, prefer to use a lanyard on their pistol. Now, kind of looking in that area, this gun has a really strange mag well. Uh, it's kind of got this little protrusion that goes down, and what was really strange about it is it prevents the standard Gen 5 base plates on Glock magazines from loading all the way. So there's some interference fit there. So you either have to A, change out all your Gen 5 base plates on any of your Gen 5 mags, or B, you need to do a little Dremel work on the Glock 19X, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. When it comes to pure performance, the Glock 19X didn't let me down. From a reliability standpoint, it's got their NPVD slide coating, and I find this to be really good from Glock. I've not had really any rust problems from any of our Glock, any of my Glocks, uh, and I've probably had at least 30 different Glock pistols uh, by now. 
but uh, I have seen a lot of rust issues on other more expensive guns. So Glock's coatings have always been really good. Look out that dirty mag. Glock just keeps ticking, man. Doesn't mind it a bit. And in right, terms of just general reliability and like functioning, this gun is just going to run, you know, any ammo that any other gun's going to run, it's going to perform in all ele elements. In this video, I did a lot of shooting outdoors, including in the rain, and I actually dropped my bucket of ammo. Rainy day here in Georgia. Dropped my ammo all over the ground, but uh, that's just life. Got to keep going. I've just always had great luck with Glock reliability, and if you've watched any videos or if you've ever had a Glock, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The recoil on this uh, gun is very good. The bore axis is low, as you can expect from all Glocks. I can run this gun really fast. I ran a 5x5 bill classifier with this, first one ever with this gun, and I shot literally like tenths of seconds lower than master class. I think master class for stock service pistol and IDPA is like, you know, 19.2 seconds or somewhere in that, you know, low 19 range. I think I shot a 19.8 clean uh, with this gun first, first try. So just runs really fast, really easy. And I've not really done a lot of training in that realm of shooting in the last couple of years. So I was very happy and, and surprised by those results. All right. So put a fresh target up. This is a, a clean shoot right here. So down zero. Took my time. Shot it at 10 yards. Not too bad. I, I'm really happy with that. I really wanted to keep uh, Keep everything clean so that worked out good i've heard a lot of reviewers earlier on when i was really uh, you know watching a lot of other videos and getting into shooting talking about kind of after you break in a glock you get you know those first few thousand rounds the trigger just becomes better and better and it's really true i've got a, a glock 19m that i've done a lot of videos a lot of comparison videos with it's kind of one of my go-to's and that gun is just easy to shoot uh you know if you just pull the trigger by itself when you know comparing it to a 1911 or something you're like ah you know it's not that great but when you get out there and shoot the gun you just look at the target you want to hit and as fast as you can squeeze the trigger it's easy to keep the shots on there so i find that that the trigger here is good now there are a lot of other competitors these days with better triggers than glocks uh, i'm going to give credit where it's due a lot of the SIGs have really great triggers. The new MMP triggers are pretty good, especially those on like the Shield Performance Centers uh, and things like that. So it's not hard to find, even like the Canix, uh, it's not hard to find uh, a trigger better than Glocks out there. So it's probably an area where they can improve. However, they are very shootable triggers. The accuracy with this gun, now it's got that four inch marksman barrel and you know, I'm not going to say that, oh, this gun's like, you know, 10 times more accurate than prior Glocks that I've had. It has good enough accuracy for competition, good enough accuracy for self-defense, good enough accuracy for having fun at the range. You can shoot really accurate with the Glock. They're going to outshoot most shooters. So uh, I've never had any problem with Glock accuracy. Check it to see where it was hitting. And you can see, even though I lost my paster, the... Uh, 19x is doing a good job just punching them right there in the center at seven yards pretty close shooting but i wasn't really like taking super slow you know going super slow so definitely uh could have done better but for a 10 round uh group right there at seven and to have most of them clustered in the same spot i'll take that any day all right shooter spent some time out here on the range today with the glock 19x this is a great performer uh, it's been raining on us the whole time. It runs just everything, uh, just ex what you would expect out of a Glock. A few tips for shooting like I'm doing now. I shoot with jackets in the wintertime, so, uh, you know, a lot of folks don't practice with jackets even though they might be carrying with it. One thing, especially when it's wet in a thin jacket like this, it's hard to get it out of the way so that you can get a hold of your gun. 
But one tip that I can give you is if you put something weighted in the pocket, like I've got it just an empty Glock mag here, it could be a couple rounds of ammo, it could be anything, car keys. It just allows you to flip that jacket out of the way much easier. I can flip it out of the way and get to my gun. Same thing if you've got a mag holster on the side, like I do here, put something in the pocket. I ran about half the drills today with nothing in my pockets, but as this jacket started getting really soaked, it became more important because the jacket just would not get out of my way. So uh, just a little tip there for shooting in the rain. If you really like that, you know, Glock 19 size, but you need a little bit larger grip, the Glock 45 and the Glock 19X are something to check out. I do like the, the color uh, pattern on the Glock 19X. I do like that it's got night sights from the factory. I don't like that it's got, you know, the strange little mag well that, uh, that doesn't allow for Gen 5 mags to be used. That's kind of stupid. But I do like that the mag well is not flared because for me that doesn't really help a lot with mag changes and it just causes a little more printing when you're carrying concealed. So for me, uh, if they didn't have this stupid lip on the Glock 19X mag well, I think it would be perfect. I don't care whether or not it has the lanyard loop, but all in all, I like this gun. So if you see a good deal on one out there, I recommend picking it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, take a second, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you all and God bless.